Welcome back to the later tutorial um, after having a first look at uh, dealing with numbers of course we do a little video on dealing with basic math like uh, adding multiplying and subtracting because uh, coding is a lot of dealing with uh, just numbers and don't be afraid of it it's quite easy and straightforward and it combines very well with the things we covered in the last videos like um, the order of processing which is important to know about and uh, the trigger object which helps you keeping track of the order. So in PewData we have the ability to do math and of course we use an object for doing math and we hit command one to do an object and we want to do uh, adding something. So of course the object is just plus. It's very straightforward and you know if you want to subtract something then we do of course the object minus. Uh, if we want to multiply something of course it's the asterisk, the star, and if we want to divide something, it's just the slash, the division. If we hit right, remember the help, then we get um, little tutorial patches on all the um, math objects is the binary arithmetic operators. And there are many, many more of them and many, many more functions like comparison and logic operators. We will cover them in a separate window today. Well, today I say this time we focus only on the basic math object and the execution order. Um, when we want to deal with numbers, we also want to deal with um, the float object because maybe we have to do store or want to store numbers and maybe we want to set numbers so we need a couple of uh, number boxes and maybe some messages like we need a one and maybe a minus 14 and maybe a one, two, three, dot, about five, like a floating point number. So we have some numbers to play around with. If we, for example, want to add some numbers, we have to remember that there is the hot inlet on the left side, which instantly will execute the addition and the cold inlet, which just feeds an argument. We can, of course, say we want to add with a fixed value. So we say um, the object is plus space 10. Now it will always add 10. We put a number box below and then we see if we connect it to the hot inlet, it will instantly add by 10. That's very straightforward. If we want to add 100, of course, we change the argument and then this object is adding with 100. So if we want to multiply, very straightforward, do the asterisk and then we always multiply with 100 or multiply with minus one, two, three dot like this and of course we can do this and just remember go to Einstellung of the number box and set the width maybe to eight and then we get more decimals. The cold inlet on the right side changes the argument of the uh, of the calculation. So instead of using a fixed value like adding 12, we could change this 12 to a variable. And we want to do this now. We connect the second box to the right inlet and one to the bottom so we see what is happening. If we set in a value here, like dial in 20, we say please add whatever comes in here to 20. And it perfectly works. And we say now add something to 10. And you see nothing is happening because we're just setting the new argument. Now it says plus 10. And we have 33 is going to be 34. So we add 10. The problem now is maybe I want to execute even if this number is changed, but it doesn't happen because we're just setting a new argument here but don't execute the addition so this is a basic trick or not trick a basic uh, procedure in pure data and it's easily done with the so-called trigger object the very easy workaround is we use a trigger a bang and a float oh it's typing we have to separate them trigger bang float so what will happen now is the following when we 
connect a sender number to the hot inlet, it will instantly do the calculation. So what we just have to do now is send a number to trigger and then first output the number via app float and set the new calculation argument and then just send a bang to the calculation so after setting the new argument it will put out the calculation too and this will work now we go to for example 0 and we see ah it's adding a 4 of course and if we change to 5 it will instantly execute so it's outputting this number 6 to a new argument and after it has done this it will output via bang the result. This works as well with search token. So we can just do minus 79, whatever, and now we can perform the execution with both outlets, uh, with both inlets, sorry, with both um, number boxes we put in information. This is very handy. So keep in mind the processing order for uh, math objects and that we can set values either by typing an argument when it's fixed it will always subtract that value for example or we can set a certain value here by putting method message box and then execute by sending a value to the left side here we go a minus with minus of course is an addition is plus